Right, Q what eat? Scallywag, 16 bit. Let's go. Um, this is the best of five. We're in round two. Looking forward to round three starting pretty soon, you know, but still have got a few games to play. So uh, let's see what this pair can come up with. It is uh, Scallywag here as the Protoss player. Um, oh, it's PvP, sorry. Uh, Protoss in the bottom left is Scallywag, and the Protoss in the top right is Qwati. Uh, or Quaddy. Yes. And uh, so both players uh, looking pretty identical in the production tab there for the time being. Um, pile on at the front door, you know, and why not? Why not? You've got to put it somewhere. Might as well build it at the front door. I mean, we don't see an awful lot of adept sheds or anything like that in the EMS league. So you probably don't really need to build a wall uh, when you're not against Zerg. Uh, both of these players really, really mirroring, mir mirroring, uh, properly copying each other. Look, look at these, the production tabs. They're almost identical, except Scallywag has gone for a second gateway. So um, the two get, uh, you know, doesn't necessarily mean much. Sometimes that's just a safety gateway. Um, but you know no matter the side cores go down at roughly the same time um and just clicking on the the gas here um you can well it's double gas over here for q Wati, but it's uh the second gas only just finishing up for scallywag so um you can kind of see down here the little plus bit that's that's how much they're mining and that's how much they're holding so uh q Wati has got more gas uh, at his disposal um a little bit of a scout comes in from Scallywag and does have a look around. Doesn't actually see this Nexus go down, uh, but you'd have to suspect it uh, because his own Nexus has just gone down. One of the nice things about playing a sort of mirror matchup is uh, it's, you know, it makes scouting really easy because in the early game you go in and you see what they're doing and it's really easy to compare that with where you are at yourself. So. Uh, both players with a couple of zealots so which is you know who builds zealots in the early game who does that i don't know uh, but anyway um that's what we've got and both players going for the safer back expo neither player uh, sort of pushing down confidently into here it's three and a half minutes um and there's you know neither of these players has actually got anything that shoots up nor any cannons or anything like that which i find a little bit uh, disturbing um you know, because in general against Protoss, three and a half minutes is when a quick uh, oracle would arrive. 3.15 is when a proxied oracle would arrive. About 3.35 is when a normal oracle would arrive. Um, and if you don't have anything to shoot up, no cannons or anything, you definitely will lose a lot. Um, you know, even if you don't, even if you pull the workers and run from the oracle, I'm not sure what this transfer is about. This, this, this is worth doing if these are gold, you send all your workers, but they're not. So... Well, I don't really see the advantage. Um, you know, just rally this one to here. Uh, the transit town of the rally is the same thing as pulling all the workers and having that dip in income. Uh, so I don't really, I don't know what that's about. Anyway, as I was saying, if you've got nothing that shoots up and you've got no cannons or anything like that, an Oracle's gonna have a good time. It's definitely gonna kill a few workers, even with a pretty quick pull. Um, and if you pull the workers and you're running away from the Oracle, those workers aren't mining. And you know these these are the uh, mining rates per minute. So that yeah, that's one thousand four hundred minerals a minute. Yeah, so you know, quick maths. Uh, it's easy enough to to figure if you're if if you've pulled the workers for I don't know uh, twenty seconds while you run about away from an oracle, fifteen seconds while you run about away from an oracle. That's four or five hundred minerals that you haven't mined. Um, so uh, Scallywag does a spot scout in with this hallucinated phoenix. I like that a great deal. I, I like uh, using hallucinations to scout. Um, it's a useful way to see what's going on. It's free. It's hard to stop. The phoenix comes in and flies around, sees absolutely everything. Um, so really solid scout. Q Watley has, of course, got this observer, but has elected not to send it into his opponent's base just yet. Scallywag has uh, decided um, to move out. Now, is this going to be a full across the map move out? It is. Uh, if it wasn't, you'd kind of stop somewhere about here. Um, but it looks like he's going to go and have a poke. He's had a look at what his opponent's got, and he doesn't rate it. Um, and to be fair, uh, you know, stalkers beat zealots. 
until you've got charge, stalkers beat zealots. Now, both players research in blink, but you know, Q Watley's research in blink, but he's only he's only actually got one stalker. Um, and he, he's not going to research charge, but it's a long way off. So without charge, uh, you shouldn't really. Don't stand still with the stalkers, though, because then you will lose the stalkers to zealots. Uh, you do need to pull them back. I'd, I'd love to see some force fields. We've got these spell casters. Not a single spell cast. Okay, one force field comes down, but A, it's lit, and B, it's left a gap. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, it actually looks like Scallywag's going to... Uh, what? I'm not sure what Q what was Q what he shooting his own thing for a second there I, I don't know anyway he can force field the ramp um, although blink is done but he doesn't know that uh, but yeah you know a few more spells would have been nice um, because yeah with with force fields literally the zealots shouldn't really get a shot and uh, now there is a warp in from this sneaky pylon at the back here um, and I don't know how many uh, getaways has Scallywag got at home he has got three uh, Q what he's got four. So Q what he should be able to, you know, out warp in Scallywag here, the next round of warp ins. Uh, and is there an immortal? Uh, there is. The immortal is just going to go pop, pop, pop. So uh, this push is over. Um, how much did it kill? Let's have a look. Uh, not much. So the units killed is incredibly even. You know, they traded pretty evenly um, in terms of stalkers and stuff. Uh, but. Oh, some, some pretty weird blinking going on. I'm not sure what that particular blink achieved. Uh, they traded pretty evenly in terms of the stalkers. Um, and Q Waddy did not really lose any workers at all. Uh, has got a third base up as well. So from this position, you'd have to say Q Waddy is in the lead. He has got a robo. He has got a third base. Um, yeah, the only thing he doesn't have is the forge. And I'm not sure that Scallywag, uh, Scallywag does have plus one, but then Qwatty has got charge. So uh, right here at this moment, Qwatty's definitely in front. Uh, he has three Nexus that can build. So obviously he can build workers three at a time. So, you know, in five worker build cycles, this is essentially saturated. In one minute, this could be saturated. Um, this observer is still at home, and I'd love to see it across the map taking a look because Qwatty, you literally haven't scouted at all. Uh, so you sort of feel if somebody's not going to scout at all, they kind of deserve to lose to something cheesy, like a big warp in here or, you know, whatever. I don't know. Uh, if you're not going to scout, I'm going to come and kill you. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, a whole bunch of... Is that a complete wall? That would be a bit obnoxious if it was. But it's a lot of gateways coming down for Qwatty. So, you know, maybe... Oh, it's a lot of gateways. Uh, if he were mining over here, um, he'd have a lot of income to support that. Uh, a little bit light on gas, so he really needs to sort that out. Get the gas here, get the gases here. Um, and he can be all over this. Now there is storm researching. Storm against Protoss. It's definitely the weakest risk to play storm against. Um, I mean, storm is in general good. Um, but, you know, uh, Protoss have the hardest units, don't they? In, in general, Protoss units, because they've got the shield as well as the um, health, Protoss units tend to be the toughest units. They're the most expensive units as well, um, but Protoss tend to have fewer really tough units. And obviously Storm does well against lots of lighter units. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I think personally, I'd prefer Robo, but what I'd prefer more than either of those things is a decision made on scouting um, and Qwati isn't doing that. So, uh, you know, what's Storm going to do against Immortals? Nothing, really. Um, it just isn't, doesn't really tickle them. So arguably, yes, Templars, uh, but Archons are probably going to be more useful than Storm. Now, interestingly, uh, it is um, Scallywag that saturates his third before Qwati. Uh, so Qwati, like, what are you doing? Look, there's a lot of oversaturation here, so I guess Scallywag just needed to transfer it. Um, but yeah, that is a bit weird, isn't it? Um, now, nevertheless, the income look, the income for Scallywag is way higher right now. Um, yeah, so I was about to say the incomes are pretty even, but I, they're not, are they? They're not. So Scallywag moving across the map again. What I'd really love to see is a prism so that you can reinforce. There's just there's too much here uh, with the Immortals. I wonder will we see any spells cast? I mean, 
I'll tell you what though, if, if Q Wadley just stays still and lets his army get like taken apart like this, like finally these immortals, look this immortal literally hasn't fired yet, hasn't, not, so like I don't know, what, what was the delay there? What was the thinking behind that? I'll just let this group of stalkers out the front take an absolute beating while I, while three immortals, which just one shot stalkers, uh, park at the back. Uh, it wasn't That was an ugly engagement, but it just doesn't really matter. Um, the quality of this army is in these three immortals. Um, you know, there's still these uh, sentries being warped in, but I'm not really seeing them being used, so you'd have to question that use of gas. Dark Shrine for Qwati. Uh, yeah, the, the fact that you haven't seen any immortals in your opponent's army would kind of suggest to you that they don't have a robo. But what would be really good is to actually scout and confirm Qwati. I mean, come on, look, it, 12 minutes in, 12 minutes in, and you haven't been outside of your own base. Well, look at the size of this map. And you literally, that's how far your units have got here come on dude you know get involved um so yeah these stargates actually could be mvp um because yeah there's a reasonable number of stalkers but you know what or, like immortals are guff against void rays aren't they they don't shoot up um dark templars don't shoot up zealots don't shoot up so once you strip away all of those expensive uh, units out of this army what are you left with? A handful of stalkers. Scallywag's going to go again. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure why. Um, the last time you got your ass handed to you, really. So, like, you're, and you're going to go again with a similar amount of supply, uh, arguably less, feeding in a little bit at a time and revealing the void rays. I don't like that decision at all. I would have much preferred just, you know, you, you can see that your opponent hasn't scouted. They haven't left their base. Um, here, you know, here comes a Templar, just isn't even going to bother dropping a storm. What? What the hell? Um, your opponent hasn't left their base, so why wouldn't you have just dropped a fourth, a fifth, uh, four more Stargates and just went and fried them with Void Rays, you know, just absolutely fried them? I don't know, man, I'm not sure why you wouldn't do that. Um, so, Qwati is not going to move out, and he's just going to A-click for the win. Uh, Scallywag's kind of squandered his units, really. Um, you know, that, that attack was, it was never, ever going to work. Uh, if you think, like, the last time you got beaten so handily, like, Qwati had enough left after that last attack to beat what you sent in the second time. So, how is it ever going to win? You have to assume that he's going to have built more as well. Um, uh, yeah, that was never, ever going to work. And just felt like an absolute waste of units. So uh, the Void Race focused on one Immortal, but there's still three more at the back here. The DTs go undetected because there's no Robo over here to see them. So until they come up the ramp and walk straight into this cannon, they're invisible. Uh, and it's going to be GG um, with, you know, a relatively uneventful, relatively straightforward victory for Qwati, who pretty much did nothing. Um, you know, just sat at home and let Scallywag come at him. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure what those force fiends were about. Um, I'll tell you now, though, they, they haven't achieved anything at all. Uh, so, I, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what you can do here the, the, to get around the force field, just arc on your um, DTs. Uh, D, um, Archons break force fields, they break them. So, uh, massive units break force fields. So, Archons, Ultras. Um, Thor's yeah uh, they break force fields so yeah I just send an Archon up and uh, yeah it's all over is Scallywag actually going to hold I mean there, there is a shield battery here The I, I'd, I'd be disinclined to send these um, carriers too far forward I, like how is what what the actual shit is happening hold on how has Qwati managed to not win? Right, 73 to 48 army supply. Half of his army is invisible. Is this just a classic I'm going to fight on a ramp? Look, the Immortals aren't shooting. The DTs are at the back. So they're not doing anything. This Stalker is just jiving. Oh my god. 
We've seen some uh, truly horrendous attacks in this uh, tournament, but, but that... God, that's miserable, isn't it? You know? So top tip, folks, if you are going to try and push up a ramp, at the very least, melee units at the front. <laughs> Not at the back, um, and uh, and do push up the ramp uh, because you know fighting on the ramp. I think I've mentioned it before fifty-seven times. Never fight on a ramp. Just don't. Don't fight on a ramp. No. No. I don't know. Uh, you had a prism. You know why not just fly around here with the prism and and just chuck a load of zealots in here. Fly. You know. Um, I don't know. Probably get more done. Anyway, is Scallywag just going to win this because two carriers? Like, it's... Whoa, whoa, Qwati. Right. So, Qwati. You're warping in, what, DTs? So, let me just check something here. Check something. Right, so... This stuff gets cleaned up, but... Hold on, hold on. Back it up, back it up. Back it up. Okay. Uh, 13, 1251, right? Qwati, 3,000 minerals in the bank. Look at this production tab. Okay, we're going fast here. 4,000 minerals in the bank. So five DTs, okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Five stalkers, okay. He is warping some stuff in. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sentries so that he can force field out his own immortal. Uh huh. Empty production tab. Five grand in the bank. Right. More. More fodder for the meat grinder there. Denied warp in. Multi building at home. I mean, th this uh, robo has been idle the whole time, hasn't it? Mm, I don't know, QWATI. I don't know. 4k in the bank I don't know I don't know man anyway uh, it, it looks like in, in a bizarre twist of fit uh, the stalkers are right, right yeah it's this, this carrier is going to go down and you know Qwati is going to clean this up and I don't actually know anymore what is even happening in this game there's four and a half thousand minerals for Qwati um, to put that in perspective, that builds you 30 gateways is the number, 30, isn't it? 30 gateways. I'm not suggesting you should build 30 gateways with it, but you know, you could flop down another 10 and you could be cranking out just so many charge lots, so many. Um, and by the way, like, yeah, the, it's easy to get up to three bases and hold them, but we are 17 minutes deep. This is absolutely mined out. This is almost mined out. Still hasn't taken that gas, which may go some of the way to explaining why he's got such a gas imbalance. Uh, this pylon's nonsense. You've got a robo at home. Build, build a, build a prison. But uh, right, why isn't there a base here and 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 here? Why? Why? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Scallywag hasn't really learned from the DTs last time. He's still got no detection whatsoever. Um, and, and this time, Qwati not fighting on the ramp. So he's, he's going to win pretty handily here. Uh, given how, like, absolutely MVP the carriers were last time, I'm surprised Scallywag hasn't built more of them. Although, that said, hmm, uh, that is pretty deeply mined out. Um, you, you've got to keep expanding, guys. Like, especially once your base starts to mine on You've got to do it. But, um, yeah, we'll see. So this time, Qwati comes at him again. He has blinked up the ramp. Still, the melee units are at the back, so not entirely sure about that. However, um, these shield batteries are absolutely doing work, aren't they? Um, look, move, move on up. Get in. Get in. You know, loads of units standing about on the ramp, but I don't think it's going to matter. Scallywag is broke. He's got 40 minerals. Uh, he's got a million workers over here. But they're not mining. And Qwati does finally break the ramp and win the game. And, mm, yeah, mistakes were made. But anyway, you know, GG. Uh, it, was, it was, like, 
they attacked each other and um and built stuff um so it, you know from that in that respect uh it was pretty good um yeah what I'd, <laughs> more skyting please you know get in your opponent's base find out what they're building respond to it more of that and and guys please stop fighting on ramps you know don't fight on a ramp beat your opponent's army and then walk up the ramp uh unopposed or go around the ramp or whatever um but don't don't fight here or if or go up the ramp but keep going up until you're completely off the ramp and then fight um and yeah that feels like you're losing units for free because you're not shooting back and you are but not nearly as many units as you lose when you stop on the ramp and have half of your army not shooting um anyway anyway uh, it's kiwai that uh, takes it and goes one oh up gg